Hi, it's Lindley Oz, and I'm your host with Prophecy in the News. There is a lot of talk lately and a lot of news about censorship that is taking place among conservatives, Christian, uh, alternative media, all of it. People are being censored. And in fact, in the news, we'll start off first with this. A Pennsylvania family was told that they cannot hold a Bible study on their own property. And this is brought to us by CBN News. But it says Scott and Terry Federoff have owned their 32-acre farm for about two years. They also have a yarn and wool shop, sell fresh produce, flowers, and other goods, provide educational classes, and host private events like bridal showers and prayer groups. But their freedom to worship on their own property has now been called into question. They were served a cease and desist order late last year by the borough of Sewekli Heights, claiming the farm has been used improperly as a place of worship, a place of assembly, and as a commercial venue and special studio or school, according to the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Now, I will stop there with that. Uh, just kind of wanted to mention it to you because it, it goes with what I'm talking about here. We just heard recently that uh, Alex Jones, I'm sure most all of you know who he is, was shut down all over the place by social media, his YouTube removed, everything removed. I myself have been struggling this past year, even before this year, to be honest. I've had, I don't know, seven or eight Facebook accounts that have been closed and shut down for no reason. And even my YouTube channel is what is called shadow banned right now, which means I don't get any organic views. Okay, so the only people that will see my video updates are those who subscribed who are subscribed to me rather, and those who see any of my posts on social media. I'm trying to explain this to you here. So then what happens after that that makes it even worse is now I'm finding out from numerous subscribers that they don't get my updates when I make a post. So many of them went and unsubscribed and resubscribed so they could click the little bell next to the subscribe button except it said that the page was unavailable and they had to go back and try again. So even people who are subscribed don't get my updates. I used to get a ton of views on my videos. All of a sudden this past year, and it's gotten the worst the last few months, my views are way down and I don't understand what's going on. So I go to look and I have been shadow banned by our lovely uh, secular social media. You know, if I was on there, uploading videos about, I don't know, cooking, cars, and games, video games, I would probably be just fine. But if you have something to say about Jesus Christ, in fact, you're not allowed to put that in your headline. If you do, you get demonetized. It's a sensitive word. The advertisers don't like it. It might offend somebody because the name of Jesus offends. How dare us ever use the name of Jesus? It's getting harder and harder. In fact, my understanding, we here at Prophecy in the News have also undergone issues um, with these things. It's everywhere. People are really having a hard time if you want to speak the truth. Let's just face it, our freedoms are just disappearing left and right. And the Bible has warned us that these things would happen in the end times. The devil is horrified of the truth. The devil is the father of lies, and that's why, oh, I can't even think of the term that's used. Was it fake news? We're all called fake news. The devil wants the whole world to believe it's just all fake. Because when the real deal happens and things, things start really taking place as they are, and we're putting it out there, that is a threat to the kingdom of hell on this earth. So he's got a strategy and a plan. And he's had this plan and strategy for many years because uh, the devil wasn't born yesterday. He knows exactly what he's doing. And it is going to take us spending time in God's word and in prayer and keeping our eyes open to what's happening and just 
really, really getting close to the Lord and having our antenna up at all times so we can hear the Holy Spirit in his direction is going to take that for us to really um, be successful against the enemy in this battle, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. The devil is way smarter than we are and way more powerful than us alone. But when we have the Lord on our side, we know that God is way more powerful than the enemy. If God is for us, who then can be against us? That's right. It doesn't matter what people say or what they think. If God is for you, then who can be against you? You need God on your side to win this battle. So I suggest that we just really take our life to the Lord and ask him to reveal any hidden sins or unrepentant sins to us. Ask him to forgive us. Begin to just saturate yourself in the word of God. Get that in your spirit. You know, if we don't spend time in God's word, that's no different than waking up each and every day and not eating anything. You, you would just starve yourself to death and die. And that's what many people are doing spiritually right now. They are starving themselves spiritually, and they are dying spiritually. You need prayer, you need God's word, you need to repent, you need to get your life right, you need to get your houses in order, you need to get your kids right, your family right, and everything that you can do through the Lord, because the Bible says that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, it's principalities and powers of hell. It also says that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So, the Bible does not lie, God's word is the truth. You can do all things through Christ. It strengthens you, give it to God, and take it to him, submit and surrender your life to him, and he will direct all of your paths. Unfortunately, time is up, but I hope that this message has blessed you. Our rights are being taken away as Christians. We are in the end times. Things are going to get worse. We need to really open our eyes and stay true to the Lord and realize that we do have victory in Christ, no matter how things would seem. God bless you, and I want you to remember that prophecy in the news is the place to be for prophecy.